Divine Truth Information Jesus, Mary and others provide information to people and organizations who inquire about Divine Truth teachings. Jesus and Mary discuss preparation for weekend with TV and Z crew. The information was provided on the 10th of May 2013 in Wilkesdale, Queensland, Australia. Uh, you guys want to drink or something? No, we've got a lot of time. Yeah, we've always got a cup of tea down with the cafeteria, so we're fine. Have a seat. Yeah. Yeah, so... Um, yeah. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be there tomorrow, but you guys can have whatever you need tomorrow. And then, Thank you. And then they can work around you, really. Well, right. well, I mean, I'm sure it's... A, we haven't actually seen it for you, but I'm sure it's big enough. To... It's a pretty standard hall. It's about, uh, in terms of shape, it would be in terms of proportions about as long, about the width of this table and about up to there oh, in okay. terms of proportion. And if, if you guys could set up down this side, if what left hand side? If you don't mind too, if um, Tim can wander around with handheld sometimes. Oh yeah, that's, that's right. fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. just be conscious oh, we won't never get of the people that are yeah. behind you. Yeah. Really, is yeah. the yeah. not standing. Yeah. I'm sure you won't be like the guy who's filmed on the road pass line or something. And the camera got between the drummer and the audience, which threw a drumstick at him. Did it? I'm just showing you. We already found the drumstick. I'll just flick it out, man. No, no, we do. In fact, he wasn't he didn't even get between the the drummer was a bit of a weird guy. Anyway. They always have the drumstick. Yeah. So we learned our lesson. So what's the format for tomorrow then? You. Well, we're still deciding that probably. Um, it, we, it's pretty flexible most of the time. So tomorrow, but tomorrow probably what we we'll do is we we'll start talking around one, and um, normally at about three we'll have a break for about an hour. And a lot of people bring lots of food and whatever else. So they mm -hmm. usually have a lot of food there. <laughs> for, it takes about an hour to polish it all off. Yeah. And, and then we get started again about 4 and goes through to about 5.30, 6 o'clock or something like that. That's fairly normal. Have you seen anything? That oh, I've seen heaps, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, I wouldn't say I know it all, but <laughs> by any means. But yeah, yeah. I've seen yeah. a lot of your tapes on um, YouTube. So you have yeah, seen general? Yeah. So there'll probably be roving mics for people for the audience. Right. The, yeah. There'll be audience participation quite a lot tomorrow. There's a PA sort of mixer desk for those. Yeah, parts, so. Igor sets up a mixer desk. Yeah. Um, you, if you want to take your sound off of that, you yeah. can. Yeah, I might have a chat to you yeah. before it all yeah. goes on. Eh? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Ten, what, three pin? Uh, yeah, the jerks or three pin. Three pin, yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we can do that, that's no problem. So that, that's probably easier for you than trying to mic us all up oh, individually because yeah. then you've got an audience. Yeah. And whatever. yeah. 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 Um, that's probably the main things, really. We get there about 11, or mm -hmm. probably 10.30, I think, we plan to get there tomorrow. Because it's been five months since we've set up, so <laughs> you always have to remember how to do it. <laughs> so, and it's pretty, I mean, from the sounds of it, you're pretty casual, but it's not a, a formal, you just, as, as it flows, as it goes. Yeah, it's pretty informal. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much all the time. We don't have any formal process or anything like that. We, we just ask people to sit so that when we start at one, you know, we pretty much try to start on time. And normally I lose track of time. People have got to remind me when to start. Yeah. <laughs> and usually that's about three, you know, two hours in or mm. something like that. But people can get up and go to the loo whenever they want and all that kind of thing. So you'll, there'll be a bit of movement around and the kids can go in and out as mm. well. So you'll probably have a bit of background. <laughs> So, and, and, and how often would you have new people turning up to just see what it's about? And pretty much like, everyone has yeah. new people. Yeah, it's pretty it's rare not to have new people. I'm just only interested from the sake of having seen you with people who are obviously new and you talk to them about their background and where they come from and what issues they may be have had through life. But yeah. you wouldn't do that with people that you've already know quite well, I take it. But, but well, uh, at the seminars, we don't get to have much interaction with everyone anyway. Oh, you don't? No, no. because it, cause you're talking four hours straight, pretty much. And um, So that's what I want, is that what it is, you talking to them? 
Yeah, uh, and interacting with yeah, the audience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the audience have mics and they might ask questions and sometimes they might ask personal questions. Mm -hmm. um, but you don't bring someone up onto the stage and ask them. There's no, a couple of things I've seen. No, well, that, that was, uh, I only did that under certain circumstances where people wanted to have some kind of interaction or something like yeah. that. But it's, nowadays there's too many people. Yeah, yeah. no, 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 that's fine. I that, so. just go and yeah, you know, know that. what to expect. Mary sometimes will be up with me. Um, it just depends on how she's feeling tomorrow as to what, yeah. what the subject matter is. But, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, but most of the time it's just an interaction with the audience answering questions on the subject. Tomorrow's subject's faith and the next one's prayer. But um, on the Sunday's subject is prayer. And basically all, all I'll be doing, we've presented material already just doing interviews. Mm -hmm. um, and we've prevent, yeah, we've presented material already on those subjects, so a lot of it will be just sort of interacting with the audience about the subject and and delivering some extra material that might help them on understand those subjects better. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah, so I suppose other other um, crews have wanted actors to stand up and say, "I'm Jesus," and like, that doesn't happen. No, no, no. no. Yeah. So you know that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, because there's so much on the internet already, and most people have already seen something when yeah. they come. There's no sort of. And we're here to film what it happens. Yeah, so yeah. Not... yeah. A, lot, a lot of the media have been looking, like Australian media, sort of look for the money shots sort of the thing, you know. And, um, and we, we don't basically we don't for the media change anything for the media when the media are present. So you, you'll just need to work around things. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. But, but normally it would be pretty easy, I think. You'll find it pretty easy. Um, and, and most of the people are fairly comfortable with having some cameras around the place at least, yeah. you know, because yeah. I've got our cameras there and that's pretty much there all the time. And because we have an audience camera that faced towards the audience that zooms in on the people asking the questions, most of them are used to the fact that if they're going to put up their hand and ask a question, that they're going to get mm. a camera. Not in their face, but, but mm. zooming in on them. And, and do, you, and do you have screen, big screens tied to the camera? So no. the audience no. can't see it. No, they're cool. No, for some reason, just, just for the sake simple. of other people being able to yeah. see who's talking. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very simple. And we don't have a highly complex setup. It's just a, it's just a desk with a heap of UH inputs and a mixer with, with some speakers, basically. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. And it's pretty easy to for us to transport. It will, you know, if we started transporting screens and whatever else, then it'd be yeah, yeah. yeah. Need a truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a van already with all the sound equipment. But, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, you need a truck. So, We're not really into production. I don't blame you. Yeah. Yeah, it must be a bit of a nightmare for you guys. Mm -hmm. It's getting better. Yeah, yeah. yeah things are getting smaller. With the technology, like this, you know, yeah. it's kind of more. That's sort of, that's the future. It's sort of cameras that size. Yeah, we were just looking the other day at the Apple, the what is it called? The the black magic one. Yeah, the black magic Apple camera. And that looked pretty good. Mm. Yeah. We've so, got what? What are you working with? The Canon, wasn't it? Last week. The yeah, little camera, yeah, yeah, smaller yeah. camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still got to put a hole. If they're too small, small the lens. you can't hold them. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. You've got to have a big enough thing on your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't make them too small. Yeah. It just can't, doesn't work. Yeah. You can't do From the cameraman's point. So yeah. you, you're you doing the sound then, camera work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Both. yeah. cheap budget. Yeah. <laughs> so so uh, we just need to get you sound. Yeah. Do, you, do you need to have it transmitted oh, to I've got some radio mics. So oh, I'll basically. So I'll sort out. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, you'll be able to transmit. And then I'll just throw it, throw it to the receiver on my back. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, and just have my other microphone running just for the ambient sound, and they can mix it down later with the mix projections yeah. they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, fine. So basically, Saturday and Sunday are pretty much the same. Uh, we usually leave our gear there. We pack it up into a room up the back somewhere and leave it there overnight and um, ourselves, but. I don't know if I'd recommend doing that, considering Mergen's uh, uh, has a bit of a reputation yeah. for break-ins and stuff like that. So, are you guys staying in Mergen? No, so no I'm staying. Yeah. Yeah. I like the little towns though. The, yeah. the ones that haven't been touched too much. They're cool, yeah. aren't they? They are. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, what does it, what yeah. So you've driven one through Tim Moore out of you. Well, yeah, we came up through Gympie, which wasn't yeah. too flash, I didn't yeah. think, although we didn't go through the main street, we kind of looked. Mm -hmm. Is there a Gympie away from that main street? There must, yeah. be, a, yeah. there must yeah. be a nice yeah. part of Gympie rather than there, there is actually. Yeah. 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 It's, the it's old, an old yeah. It gets flooded every, well, the last five years it's been flooded completely yeah. to the rooftops for years. Yeah, yeah. I think I've seen it. It's been two times lately. Yeah, yeah. Maybe his parents live near you. Yeah. We like this little place back here that they've obviously had some big um, mm. conflict with this council and the developer, and there's all those houses built on the side of the road. Oh, man, right. Right. Yeah. it's lovely. Yeah. 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 It's, it's, yeah. it's weird, oh, isn't it? It's weird. Yeah, yeah. 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 no, it's some of the started. Started and then obviously it's done like 30 or 40 years. Yeah, there's a lot of houses, and there's some back. There's no curbing or street stuff. No, no, no. It's really strange. And I don't, I don't think a lot of the contractors got paid either. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, is that right? Yeah. So it's happened in a lot of homes sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, remember Amby is this tiny little place that had no houses on it either before that. Mm. Yeah. And then there's the, this one here, Wurrulin. Yeah. Yeah, that's where we have our breakfast. Is it? Yeah. You've got a routine now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wurrulin, that's yeah. a really nice city. She was it? Yeah, she's nice to say that. Nice, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we headed off what I said in yesterday from um, King Roy. Yeah. I couldn't find anything open. No, you wouldn't have gone until about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. So where are you from originally? Where were you born? I was born in South Australia in the river, on the River Murray. Oh, yeah. In Loxton, a town oh. called Loxton. Yeah. yeah. And Mary uh, was born in Brizzy, yeah. but... Uh, I grew up. But grew really up nice on the Bunny Mountain. Oh, I did? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Where are you? Where are you from? Where are you? Oh, okay. no, I live yeah. in New Zealand now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. obviously. Yeah. 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 Ask us to go, and there's been no one that's asked us to go in the last no. year or so. Mm. A lot of, oh, well, some of them I think travel from the coast in Brisbane up here. Oh, up here, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah. But we don't, we, we don't have them regularly here either, once every, well, at the moment it's probably once every six months or yeah. five months or something. Yeah. Yeah. Last year we did a lot of travel overseas, we overseas, around the world twice pretty much, wasn't it? Yeah. So we didn't know. Mm. Doing seminars as you went. Yeah, 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 just places we've been invited to go, pretty mm. much. Yeah. Where did you like the best? Um, I don't know, every place is like different. Yeah. Yeah. We spent some time in Brazil this time, oh, which yeah. was pretty unique. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was quite yeah. unusual. Yeah. That was fun. And uh, we were in Sweden as well. Yeah. We actually went to Arctic, up to near the Arctic Circle. As well, mm -hmm. so that was the winter yeah. and the summer. And the summer. Yeah. Yeah. Six months so, that yeah. was amazing. Yeah, I've never amazing. been in that far north where it's just it was light, maybe twilight one hour a day, and yeah. the rest of the time was dark. Yeah, yeah. And, and then yeah. the opposite when we went in the summer. Yeah, that's that's a lot weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that was. We were still talking at three in the morning. Yeah. 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 Well, we were in, we were in Scotland in the seventies, and we went to a girl, a Kiwi girl who married a Scottish, Scottish. Um, guy, farmer, mm -hmm. and they had a Scottish wedding, and we happened to be up in that part of the world. And so the wedding went on until about 2, 3 in the morning, we were here at 3 in the morning, it was daylight. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I said, well, weird. it's going to get dark. They said, it won't get dark, it'll just go twilight, then <laughs> be light again. Yeah. So that's weird. Yeah. Now we got caught out quite a lot with our sleeping habits, because <laughs> we were waking up, you go, we were going to bed. Well, a lot of time we get them at one or two, and, and, and then we'll wake up, you know, and you know, yeah, no, get up yeah. it must be morning, and it's still yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. We're pretty attuned to the night and day here. And then when it was like three feet or well, four feet deep of snow, and that was quite beautiful. It was beautiful, yeah. but cold, cold and mm -hmm. minus went down to up there, minus goes down minus 30, minus 30. Yeah, I think it doesn't reach, so <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. It's how can anything be colder than zero? You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Minus 52, yeah. I, I freaking well went up to take over the um, New Zealand Embassy in Moscow. 
just before just before Christmas, and uh, um, I saw on two days after he got there it was minus fifty two. Uh, and I emailed him and said, "Are you prepared?" Well, he's got as much as Ukraine and oh, Russia. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we're, we're, that wouldn't be in the bath such a lot. Not minus. No, 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 minus ten. Yeah. 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 Oh, you create for the south isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black sea, Black sea. Black sea. Yeah. yeah. And Lenny, you're just a bit further north of there. I'm yeah. on the Black Sea Russia side. Yeah. Um, Georgia. I, I don't understand all those new things. Oh, we went to Russia to, to the USSR in, in 1973. Yeah. yeah. Moscow and things. Yeah. I mean, that was just one big country. Yeah. 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 Now there's all these new ones. So you guys yeah. must get the travel fair now. Yeah, that was that was we used to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. They don't mean yeah. it. Are you feeling a bit exhausted with that? Like, do you get exhausted with all the travel? Because mm -hmm. I don't remember traveling. You just yeah, go, travel around the country, but 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 well, more often than not, so you go around and do it. Although Johnny's been busy, mm -hmm. you do a story, and then so you might go to. I was down at um, Stewart Island, way down the south. Yeah. Two weeks ago, but then you you got two or three weeks. Getting that story together, right? Time, so, so, so time back at the yeah, base. yeah. So, so where are you guys based? Auckland. Yeah. It's like a monthly turnaround, basically. You know, you're right. sort of researching, shooting, cutting. Yeah. And, and then out again. And then on to the next one. So it's like yeah. journey yeah. stories. And every team is the same, is it? Like so mm -hmm. we, no, we vary a lot. Yeah. yeah. So um, different producers, different cameramen, different reporter yeah. combinations. Yeah. Anyway, how many? How many altogether? Sixteen of us. No, there's three cameramen. Yeah. Three cameramen, four reporters, and a pool of producers. <laughs> How many cameramen yeah. producers? And that's just for one many yeah. 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 The one The pool of producers are across three different three cameras. Oh, okay. Shows. Mm -hmm. 20, 20, no, so. all of the cam all of you guys. Yeah. Uh, three cameramen. Three cameramen. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. 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 That's because because it's like if it takes you that long to get the show together. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll go off when when these guys start do their post production. I'll go off and shoot something else. Yeah. 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 Chaz and I are going to a little dark room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and chop it all up. Yeah. Yeah. Try to make sense of it. Yeah. 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 We've learned a lot about the media in the last few years. I, I never thought I would know anything or ever be on TV. And, right. Uh, and there you are. Get into know all these things. Yeah. Yeah. They're not all as bad as each other. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the thing. I, I live in hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I live in hope. It's very different, eh? Yeah. 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 Each other. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we've had some pretty incredible yeah. like, yeah. experiences, I suppose you could call them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of them come with pre preconceived ideas and with a preconceived notion of what they're going to do. Totally. Absolutely. You know. And also... And the producer at home has, has already done it. Yeah, he's already written the, written the script already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. And then on top of that, the willingness of the Australian media to falsify things completely is pretty full on. Yeah. I, I'm just flabbergasted. Yeah. I just, mm. I can't watch TV. And, and, and it's a trick media as well as the yeah. TV media. Mm. Yeah, really you know the, the show that was on, it was a satire, it was called Frontline. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, the yeah. first time I watched that, yeah. I thought, it's a documentary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a documentary. <laughs> So okay. what's it like in New Zealand with it? Is it a bit more strictly? I was actually working, working at the same time on a program in New Zealand called Frontline. Uh -huh. and oh, every time someone would come, come across from Australia, they'd say, what are you working on Frontline? And they'd laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, you know. Uh, well, what's it like? Um, it's probably I, yes, I, don't think, I don't think we're as out there as the no, other no, no, and not And not... I mean, I find quite a lot of the stuff I watch like, man, we'd never be able to do, get away with what you're doing. Yeah. You can see what yeah. you're doing sometimes. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So, you know, true and fair is the, is the true and fair and balanced yeah. is, is, the, is the kind of journalistic <coughs> ethics that you try and work with. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, if you follow that, you can't really go wrong. Yeah. Um, because, yeah. you know, you're, you're trying to find the truth. You know, if there's a truth to be found, you're trying to find it, obviously. Yeah. But, um, yeah. So, so um, you know, if you, I feel if you, if you, uh, a fear, and you ask people, if somebody says something about somebody, you got to go to that other person and say, oh, look, Jimmy says something about you. Yeah, what do yeah. you think of that? And, yeah, yeah. You know. So that's where you get balance, and if there's obviously 
one's right and the other's wrong. You've got to point that out. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. that's that's where I come from. Yeah. I've been doing it 38 years, and I think that um, yeah. if you uh, if you if you boom people. You know, you're not going to go back for seconds, are they? You know, no, that's, that's what happens. You know, it's interesting with the channels in this week. So. Yeah, because we were in the, we were in uh, the Melbourne and Sydney papers right. uh, last week, which is why there's a little spark of interest and it just happens to coincide with uh-huh. you guys being here. But uh, Channel Seven, today's not contacted us again, and we can't laugh what? because we're like, as if we would ever do anything with you guys. Yeah. Again. Like. What, what I told them unless they unless they, uh, they told the truth. Told the truth about the last of the last visit, visit. Mm-hmm. they're not they're not doing something with them. So what do they do? What, if, if, if that's not a rude question, what do they do last? Uh, they lied about pretty much everything. I would have said. Well, we had them the come here, yeah, yeah, and stay. They and stayed here two days. Yeah. Uh, when well, you stay here in our house. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then they came again another time. And only we, you know, we yeah. only met Mary and stay yeah. here. Um, they called it the compound first. Yeah, they, they called it a compound. Yeah, uh, it's a um, blues, isn't it? Yeah, yes. <laughs> and they took, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but we don't actually have any fences, but um, they took photographs of the neighbours' fences. And barbed wire. <laughs> barbed wire, across the wire. Right. <laughs> 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 no, no. And then they, they, they had hidden cameras. At the event. And it was an investigation and but they had hidden cameras. And then they went and they went and they had them stay and we, <laughs> everyone saw the camera and people were at yeah. the thing. They edited AJ, he was, during the talk, he was saying... They edited saying, some talks that they've um, got off the net and they've completely flipped over. Like I was mucking around on one of our videos. You were actually talking about, I think you were talking about, um, you know, how leaders and, and how religious, religious leaders, leaders yeah. talk about putting the truth into someone from them. Yeah. He was saying how wrong that was and they edited it to make it look like he was saying that you should do that to doing yeah. um they all just little basic factual things they got our ages wrong that it was it's pretty it's how many page document one of our friends actually wrote it went through point by point and it's about three or four page document no, it's about eight, is it yeah. outlining what they said and what, they said. <laughs> what was actually the truth <laughs> no, it's, it's quite a lot and they also inferred i mean the channel seven one they inferred that we that you're saying that you're God, which isn't true, that we have a compound, that we, that people live with us, which they don't, <laughs> um, that, you know, just very basic things mm. that they had a, that's right, they had I a cult invest, what was it? I left my wife. That's right, they said, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's how it said he left his wife. <laughs> um, <laughs> and she followed Jesus <laughs> and she was right there. Um, <laughs> And his mum as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> no, yeah, they're not even. Yeah, so there's just a lot of. Just a bit on and on. I don't mind that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they had Rick Ross from the United States, who's never met us, never watched anything we've ever done, talking about how it was very dangerous because AJ believes he's God, and I don't like. No, yeah, who's this guy? So clear, so clear that he's never even seen anything that we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 So, and mind you, half the new age population believe they're gone. I don't yeah, see anybody right. complaining about that. It's just, <laughs> it was just a lot of, anything you could make it dramatic, mm. yeah. they would do that. So, and they, had a, they, had, they went around the world trying to find people who, whose marriages had broken up. And they finished up finding one couple. <laughs> yeah, who we'd never met. Who we'd never met. Uh-huh. And, and who the husband claimed it broke up because she was watching my video. That's right. Yeah. And, if, and they didn't interview her. They didn't go to her and ask her about it. And, if they and they knew her. That she, she, they knew how to contact her. Yeah. So. <laughs> they would have received a very different story. So, so she wasn't on the show, but he was. Yeah. He was angry. Yeah. 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 He was, he and was actually, she left him. We found out afterwards that she left him because he was getting violent with her. And, very angry. And, yeah. 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 and but that she still wanted to be with him. Like, they played on this whole soulmates thing that, you know, this is a dangerous teaching to believe in soulmates because it breaks up with the marriages. And she was saying, look, I love this man and I actually think we're soulmates and I'd love to be with him, but <laughs> we had all problems <laughs> and I'm <laughs> left. And, and of course he, because he's obviously in a lot of pain or whatever, yeah. Yeah. he just chose to blame the yeah. spiritual teaching that she was listening to. Yeah. 
So, yeah. Like I said, I've learned a lot. Yeah. It's amazing we're here then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The way we see it is sort of every person, a new person, deserves a chance, basically. Yeah. yeah. And also that, um, that if a person does do that, that when they want, like Channel 7 wanted another interview, I just outlined to them the conditions under which they'd receive another interview, which were that they'd have to correct everything that they said that was false in the previous one, and they'd have to do it publicly, which I doubt will ever happen. Mm -hmm. um, so that means that they're probably never going to get another interview. But, but the reality is if they decided to do that, oh, I'd give them another one. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I used to feel very upset about it. Feel more, I, don't know. Uh, like I feel like it's okay to give people a chance and what people do, it's up to them and actually all I can do is just be myself and that keeps me in good ethical grounding, you know, and gives everyone the opportunity to know that we're not sinister characters. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's what's happening with television is that it, yeah. it seems really important at the time, <coughs> at the moment it's going out yeah. and that, you know, like we've done um, stories with people who have, um, I don't know, they've either got um, medical problems or anything like that, and they, they worry about what people are going to think of them and everything. And I say to them, hey, look, people will watch it tonight, mm. and, then tonight. and they will get on the bus tomorrow morning and sit next to you and mm. won't mm. even mm. know. Exactly. That, you know, that it's, it, it all seems so big, and, yeah. and, and there's also a huge amount of people that won't even see it. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. And then even That's with not you guys, tr strictly the case with us, unfortunately. No, no. But what, <laughs> yeah, but what I was going to say is with you, it's slightly different in yeah. a sense. But then further down the track, people won't remember. The They'll just remember. Oh, yeah, I remember hearing about that, but yeah. they won't remember the detail. Yeah. You know. So. Yeah. And John's got a good. Um, you know, we used to, uh, was it Karen or, or Peter saying that we really represent the public, so we just, what we like to do is ask questions that the public would, would, would be asking. Yeah, I was trying to put myself in the, in, in the Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Average's lounge and yeah, ask the questions that what they would want to know, yeah. the, the obvious questions. Yeah. And we don't come with any preconceived ideas, we yeah. just here to meet you, talk to you, find out what you've got to say. And, yeah. Yeah. And it's, so yeah. we're looking to do something on Monday, if that's all right? Yeah, that's yeah. fine. What time in the day would see? Well, you? morning would be good. Morning would be good. Um, we would really here in the afternoon. We'll set a flight for Sydney that afternoon. Well, we're going to get go back, back in the evening. Yeah. So, um, and it's a three hour trip from here to there, around about. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, if we would nine o'clock be too early? Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 What's good for you? What would for you? Well, we're. Um, ten, maybe. Probably. Ten. Yeah, ten. Ten. Would that be all right? Yeah. Ten's good. Yeah. Ten's good. Yeah. Yeah. Ten's your right. Yeah. Do you, where do you want to do the interview? I suppose it depends a bit. Oh, yeah, depending on the weather. I mean, it's, we've, we've it doesn't rain for ages. It's a lovely area. No, it really looks. You never know. We haven't had rain for nearly four months now. So it's pretty brown, but pretty it brown. might happen. Yeah. Yeah, we could sit out there if it's fine. Yeah, we could do it out there if you wanted, or in here. Fine too. Yeah, we, we, we yeah. just go with conditions. Yeah. I mean, if we would also, Lena and Igor have, it depends whether you want to do, I'd say you'd want to do some shooting here, would you? Yeah, yeah. Um, but if you want to have just the interview with like, a blank backdrop, backdrop. Um, the guys have already got that set up for our interviews that we do, um, that we put on YouTube down mm. down on their home. There's some of the more recent stuff on YouTube you'd see is like other black or White mm. plane drop. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I think we'd like to do. Yeah, yeah, I prefer you. Yeah. And you're in the environment. Yeah. Yeah. You can go and show me your pumpkins. Or the <laughs> 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 that stuff that seeded and self <laughs> yeah. We call it compost. <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, yeah. John, very good. John, 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 uh, the, the Howrick you got this. Yeah, it's an island off just out of Auckland. Yeah. And it's 40 minutes off here. 40 minutes oh. off here. So I've got olives and macadamias and oh. citrus yeah. and big, big shops, big veggie garden. Yeah, nice. Does he have worm farms or is it too cold for me? No, we don't have worm farms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're big worm farms. Yeah, yeah. Oh, have you? Yeah. 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 I do yeah. a little story on worm farms. Yeah. 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 I do a, a bio-intensive garden, I don't know if you've ever heard of 
Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. double digging in yeah. Yeah. 20, 60 centimeters of loam and yeah. quarter it and yeah. Yeah. shoot in there. Yeah. Grow it's a lovely thing to grow your own food. It's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> and eat your own food as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, we've got, the reason why it looks like a bit of a, a, a minefield out in our property at the moment is we've dug these big holes and filling them full of matter. Right. That, uh, because we've just got clay. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got a base, you've got to go from scratch around here. Yeah. 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 A little bit We're trying to fun. avoid yeah. most of the, we're just trying to do it more naturally. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got cardboard bales and right yeah and so you're layering yeah the bozier and so you're doing um, lasagna composting yeah 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 Decomposition. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Permaculture kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 You wouldn't have much problems yeah. around for what we have a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 We, 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 we had a bit of a drought in New Zealand just recently. We had uh, today. seven or eight right weeks without rain. Right. Right. <laughs> Unheard of in my lifetime. You know, no, wow. that's, that's New Zealand wow. normally. It's the Emerald Islands, you know. So. Um, but yeah, so the yeah, weather is changing a little bit. It's been a great week I know it's a bit of a joke, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Although we had 25 inches all at once, yeah, just in January. So. It was, it's the wettest wet. Yeah, it was the same sound of here. I've got friends that live at the Sunshine Coast and said it was all wet, wet, wet. <laughs> and we're Queenslanders, we're pretty used to the sun. Yeah. We don't get that in our summer, we feel like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, we come over here in your winter for a summer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We went to New Zealand a couple of years ago and that was in summer, wasn't it? But we had a woolen summer. Oh, we were you then? So far, south. Yeah, both. Yeah, both. We did a drive around. We did a talk in Auckland, didn't we? And in South Island at Glen That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Did you go to Carrots? Yeah, yeah. 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 No. Did. Isn't it lovely down there? Really? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. He, he yeah. filmed the story down there. What do you call it in New Zealand though? Tramping. 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 Yeah. 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 Beautiful walks and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. And the cold lake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cold. yeah. yeah. No, no, no. even in the summer we just went in summer. I suppose you guys might like it. Somebody is swimming yeah. in the winter, but I mean, yeah. It reminds me of the guys in Canada because they, they just swim in anything. Like <laughs> there can be ice flowing down the river and they still swim in anything. Because there's a tinge of sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they build a fire on the bank. Yeah. That's all I've We lived in Dunedin for three years and my kids were yeah, just youngsters. Hard. And that was quite cold. And we yeah. moved to Tower Island, which is a lovely sort of New Zealand's, it's got the Mount Honganui, which is a, yeah. our colour. Surfers really, you know, yeah. it's the Gold Coast, it's people that get to winter. Yeah. And in September, the kids were in the swimming pool because it was they felt it was so much warmer than they had the last few years. But they climbed for the women the next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so what do you want to do uh, Monday? You just want to do, do a sit down and do you need a couple of yeah. hours or do you need yeah. 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 That's right. yeah. and the two of you if that's alright? Sure. Yeah. And and we were we were hoping we might be able to do something today, but then you sound like you've got a crew coming anyway. So. We've got a crew at three. Oh, okay. Which is that's a bit fast that clock. It's about twenty past one now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. so um, we did, we just wanted we'll just to save time where we could just get um a walk around and just a very informal you know, why why you're out in this part of the world and and, sure. and what do you do with the land and Yeah, and sure. is that a work farm? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know, it's just the, yeah. a scene set of going, Where, where's the bad boy? Yeah, that's just, yeah, just a city, right? You've yeah, probably done it before. The bar, yeah. 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 But we can do that on Monday, but it might be, we'll do the interview first Fine. and then yeah. if we could do it a little bit now, then that would just save time. We don't mind. Up to you. Yeah, yeah. we can do that. And we don't mind a chat, so I think you're fine with it. Once you get us going, then you interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, let's go. We like it. We don't like it. So no, <laughs> <it's okay. laughs> um, right. right, so just grab in here and sort it out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, have you got a certain area where there is something you could show, John? I mean, um, 
Is it a precise one up on hatch or whatever? <laughs> no, really. No. We, we, don't, we don't do our own growing at this point. At this point, because, because we haven't been here. Um, right. So, how long have you been? Well, I've been living here seven years. All right. But, but because we go away nine months of the year, we did the last two years. And the last two years in a row, we've done that. And we have got we, we don't get a veggie garden going or something no. like that in the time and back. All we're prim primarily doing is trying to improve the very damaged land because there used to be goats and cattle on this mm. one and, it's, and, and very hard. And um, we sleep down in a tent down, down the back. That's not So this is like our office, if you like. Oh, so what it's have not we got a here? tent tent. It's one bedroom. Tent. Right. Yeah. And uh, this area here, and that's the workroom for me as well, uh, right. for technical gear. Right. Because we've got a fair bit of technical gear, you know, in terms of all the video stuff. That yeah, yeah. No, you know, it's got, it takes up a lot of room, so. And so the office here is sort of mostly just where we have, if people want to meet with us, this is where we meet. Um, we have the office for where we work, and uh, uploading stuff and all those kind of things. But we actually sleep, and. Uh, and down in the tent, um, which is sort of like and 200 to 300 metre walk down the back of the property. And the reason for that? Uh, just that it's more peaceful and yeah. quiet and, and it's more connected with nature sort mm -hmm. of thing. It's, it's, what it's, we, nice. it's like, yeah, it's not like living inside, it's like living outside. I can yeah. understand. But we have, a, lot, we have a lovely, comfortable king bed in there. Yeah, it's not a lounge in there. It's not a lounge in there. So it's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't got a geodesic <laughs> bone like the one that was nah. yesterday. No, no, no. The no. wall. We, we do have the geodesic bone. But just checking that. Do you know the one I mean? Well, 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 I'm sure they understand. Sometimes the wall that they do. Oh, oh, I don't know, no, no, hey, we were just yeah. wondering about. Is it, is it, where does Mike live? Uh, just down the road here in Oh, he, lives at, he would live at Joyce's then. Joyce? Yeah. Sandra. Is that yeah. Sandra or Sandra? Sandra. Joy, Joy, Joy. She, she's, she yeah. came from Joyce? Oh, yeah, Joyce. Sandra, yeah. That's yeah. Sandra. No, oh, that's Sandra. No, oh, that's Sandra. Yeah, no, yeah, Sandra's the dome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. She was showing me through. Okay. Yeah. Sandra, yeah. Yeah. Sandra, yeah. Sorry? Did you have Joyce? Uh, you, you, she's just telling me it's really hot in the day and very cold at night. So. <laughs> We're talking about solutions for that. Yeah. <laughs> he is an air conditioner. No. Or is it tense? No, ours Beautiful. is lovely. Mm. It's, well, it's just totally open all the time anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got a nice flow breeze. Great. Yeah. And it gets a bit cold in winter. Because I just wear a beanie. Well, we could do a ticky tour and talk about improving the land. I'm kind of yeah. into that if you're Yeah, concerned. and it's only very short. It's just yeah. really to set, uh, set yeah. up where you do live as opposed to where we're going to see you at the, at the seminar. Sure, so, yeah. yeah. You're okay with that? Yeah. And, and it doesn't have to be, and in all honesty, it doesn't have to be both of you at this point. Yeah, no, I'd be happy to just take your end, that's fine. Yeah, I reckon. You just go I was going to say, technically, that would help us. Yes. Because we've only got two right. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah, yeah that's I right. feel that's great. Yeah. So you just need to do that, John? Yeah, uh, put a little, yeah. little yeah, yeah, I just put a microphone on you. And, and, you. and you just like, yeah, lead the way. You yeah. know, talk, talk about whatever you like. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, just a nice little chat and a walk. Do you, did you talk to enough people? You just made look looking to talk to New Zealand, is that? Yeah, that's, just that's the kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, we. It's a New Zealand show. Where do you start with 200 people? You know, sort of thing. But you know, if you focus a little bit on their journey yeah. um, and and how they ended up here and the, yeah. what the spiritual changes have grown on their life and what's you know what's yeah, attracted them, and really know their journey, do we? No, well, yeah. just that we just see them at seminar. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's what they're saying actually. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's what they were saying too. Is I mean, the three we've interviewed live, you know, there, there, and there, yeah. really close, and they never see you except at the seminars. You know? Yeah, or we might go down. There's a there's a couple down just about a kilometre or two down the road who are trying to set up a learning centre that it's we know to, demonstrate. to sort of demonstrate the principles. And sometimes there's working bees there, and we get to see people when we go down there to work. Mm. So we go down there to work when they organise them and. There's, um, there's other Kiwis I realised just like last week that we probably know, that, but I don't really think Kiwi Aussie. You know, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But just from our perspective, because it's, it's a New Zealand show, you really do throw a bit of nationalism in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah no, there's a few, few 
Well, Eloise lives in New South Wales, and there was someone else I thought of. Was Teresa from New Zealand? Oh, Teresa, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. But, you know, but they've all been really good interviews, actually. Oh, yeah. Cool. And it's hard to know what to, you know, they're all quite long interviews. So. Oh, no, 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 not that long. long. Not that long. Oh, no, no. 42 questions. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> 42 <laughs> questions. Which I have to write down. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So John gets on a roll and yeah. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, and his favourite line is, and, and finally, because you have one, one final question and one final question. <laughs> <laughs> is this really my last one? Like, yeah, 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 well. And you'd have to redo the questions, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you well, seen well, the backstory back before? You would have seen yeah, the backstory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd have to do some back cuts. So yeah, tomorrow we'll 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 do the interview, and then we'll reverse the camera yeah. and then shoot John shoot and ask him the question, which you don't have to answer. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. One camera editing stuff. Yeah, and it makes it look like we've a really big budget and we've got two cameras <laughs> traveling around. <laughs> You're saying there's been a lot of budget cuts, has there? Oh, it's, it's just a global thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the. Uh, I don't know how the Aussies work, but now we don't have. Yeah, like, um, Clinton doesn't have a sound. Channel man. 9 did that. Channel 7 brought two cameras. But that. They at one point had three cameras, actually. That was going for the big. That's when the. Producer at home was like, we're gonna make this a ratings killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. This is you've got to go have the two camera, do the whole big, and they they really changed as well. Their attitude yeah. towards us yeah, they had yeah. much more. Did they? Yeah. Oh, did they see? I mean, I find when I'm with people that you, when you get to know them, you actually go, hmm. Hey, listen, Peter, I think you're a bit wrong with you, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. I think we need to bloody soften this up a bit rather yeah. than yeah. Yeah, no, they go progressively. It was a minister who did a lot of the interviews, and he was more. He got, he got more and more personally challenged. As I it guess proceeded. he had some a minister. Yeah. yeah. So they used a church of. Yeah. Uh, oh, so they used so that person would have had a re preconceived idea anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he, he he began. He was the person who started interviewing us, ironically, just with his own camera, and then he finished up contacting. He approached Channel 7. He approached Channel 7 oh, and then it sort of built and built and until such a point that they had like this major operation. They had, I think at the centre they had two sound guys, no, they had two camera guys and the sound guy and the Three producer. Three cameras actually, one, one was two were on, on the yeah. dramas. Mm -hmm. So what, what was his background? He was a um, Uniting Church minister who, who had, he, he's a pretty, Worldly guy, I suppose you'd call him. Um, yeah, he, he without much ethics whatsoever, actually. Yeah. 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 And but, his primary focus was he, he his primary concern is Christianity, of course. Mm. So he 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 wanted to interview me initially by himself, just in terms of discussing Christianity and things like that. Mm. But then, as it as, as it became as it became more and more challenging for him to listen to the answers he was getting, he thought that he'd be able to just use the Bible or whatever and give right, yeah. the answers he gets. So the only way what he wanted, and after it became more and more challenging, he uh, he he became less and less yeah. ethical, and, yeah. and in fact, by the end, had no ethics whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. He he, I suppose he researches new religious movements. Well, he, he's sort of like he treat, he's sort of like he's a cult expert or something. He, right. he kind of he sees himself that in that field. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Right. When when we were interacting just personally, oh, he, 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 his company. He, right. Okay. That's so. why it really. Um, but as soon as he got a camera in his face, you know, really, mate. I found that very difficult. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it was our first. It was our first television. Um, Oh, yeah. so experience. Like experience. Yeah. I found it. Then we had to stay at the house. Yeah, and I, I just put days. a lot of, I was mm. incredibly transparent and put a lot of trust. And, and I found him to be, you know, personable. And then the one interview in particular, he was quite nasty. And how off camera, very nice. On camera. Mm. And I, I couldn't understand. And a lot of people in the media seem to get from this, in Australian media, seem to revert to making statements, really, than asking questions. Hence the statement, you know, yeah. don't ask the questions, do make statements. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So he came along and he was telling you how things should be, or was oh, he? I'm not doing this. Spoiler: You're doing this. You're doing that. No, I, I, I'm not doing it. But, but you're not even asking me a question. You're making a statement. You know, you're mm -hmm. telling me that I'm doing something that I'm not doing. And a lot of it is done just to try to get a bite. You know, a reaction. And so does this guy do that, or is this a one-off for him? He wasn't a journalist. No, no. He, it's not a well for him. He's done it. No, no, he's not. A, he's not a journalist. He's, he's not a. No. So it sounds like he's he, got he those. He used to be the head of Christian programming for the ABC. Is that right? Ah, yeah. oh, right. So he, uh, I suppose you'd classify him. So he'd have, he'd have a broadcasting very You'd think he'd be asking questions. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But he did it. I think historically he told us a story. He did a segment for sixty minutes in Australia some years ago about some. I don't know, some, some cult guru or something uh, which got a lot of ratings mm. and it was like an expose and I think he mm. Mm. Is that what I'm onto something here? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. well, maybe it was the producers behind him. Uh, it right. Yeah, but if he came in here with a camera to start with, it would, oh, I don't know, it could have been the producers, but... Well, a lot of people come to visit us privately with cameras and whatever else. So mm -hmm. that's fairly really normal. Um, and we're happy to, for that to occur. Um, but, but the reality mm -hmm. is that He's a Queensland it's sort of si the systematically <laughs> got worse and worse. Yeah, and, and, and in the end, it was just like lie after lie after lie without any, uh, with just statements being made at me without any uh, Opportunity to respond to any of them. Yeah, this is true that you are believing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, wasn't even, it wasn't even an instance, it's true. And it's like, you're, you're this, you're that, you're this. Yeah, well, that's you know, yeah. that kind of thing. I won't be saying that. And no opportunity to answer either. Mm -hmm. So in the end, I just said to him, yeah, you don't want any answers now. You just, you've just already made up your mind and, and you don't want any answers. So I can't see where this is going to go now. Yeah. And if you say that on camera, they tend to yeah. make use of that as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, although they didn't in this, in their they, case. They actually just cut that out. They cut they? pretty much everything out that, there was a couple of things they left in that challenged him, but, um, but the rest of it they just left out pretty much. And they basically took our footage off of the internet mm -hmm. and then edited, edited it. Uh, sliced it in such a way that it changed the entire mm. meaning of it mm. to the completely opposite meaning and then presented a lot of that material. Mm. And the, most of the whole show was actually our material yeah. that we... Yeah. Right, you'd, yeah. you'd show and put it on there. <laughs> yeah. You should see the way around. <laughs> <laughs> After all that. Yeah. They must stay about hours and hours of footage though. Yeah, they must. Yeah. But how many, how long will your segment be? Is it like five minutes? No, 15. 15 minutes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Two seven and a half minutes segments. Yeah, so one yeah. ad. So I'm sure you could do an hour easily on you guys. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think the thing, the difficult thing is, story. is turning, you know, 40 minutes or 15 minutes is not a long time. And as John says, you know, we've, we've already done uh, three interviews, so we've got yeah. a lot of material. We'll be doing this with you, we're we'll doing the seminar. Yeah. And, um, and there's a lot and what you have, so we do, we obviously edit, but what we try and do is edit clearly. Yeah. That we don't yeah. just take bits of, you know, all oh, well, well, this is, we can make that look. Yeah. Yeah. Bad or good or whatever, yeah. and we and you try and give a fair cross section of all the answers and everything mm. that you've got. Mm. But you, there's a lot that does get left out, and I think a lot of people who do get interviewed and are on programs watch the program, and then they sit there and go, "Oh, God, well, he didn't use that, but he didn't yeah. use that," and you say, "Yeah, but if we use that, but then that yeah, bit wouldn't have gone, you know, yeah. or yeah. that would have to come out, and then yeah. that wouldn't look like, you know, so." I think we understand that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't have any issues no, of how or anybody, even if they do it badly. Uh, yeah, I just don't really engage good. them again. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 but, um, uh, yeah, it's more when people 
purposefully use the statement to make it seem sensationalist. That's, yeah. it, that's where we sort of take issue and say, oh, we yeah. We understand that you've got all your time. And we also understand a lot of people might not want to do it again until much later. <laughs> <laughs> and then they might revise, well, Channel 7, for example, might revise how they do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, most of the stuff is short. You've got yeah. crew coming. Yep. Um, I'll just put my boots on. All right. And grab a pick if that's okay. Grab a pick. We're going to find the gold. <laughs>